Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video here on Swath Hub. Today is January 30th. We're currently sitting at a total market cap of $1.05 trillion. We're down 1.68%. Bitcoin is down 1.38%. Ethereum 1.49%. And Litecoin down 3.19%. Today's video, uh, as you can see from the title, is going to be our long slash short term uh, target across the Ethereum pair using uh, one of the most effective strategies and that's going to be our Elliott Wave structures. Uh, for those that are new to the channel, uh, you're new to trading, uh, crypto, stocks, whatever it might be, Elliott Wave Theory, uh, they tend to give you a roadmap of what's coming next. It's basically our GPS in the stock market giving us guidance of where the next top or where approximately this market is heading so for that reason this is why i'm using elliott wave structures later on once we start triggering near the top i'm going to start implementing more advanced strategies such as our divergence and our harmonics to give us that accurate top this video in specific let's focus on our elliott wave structures I'm going to go ahead and analyze what happened in previous history to give us data for the coming future. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and find our third wave. Now third wave tends to be at the 1.618 Fibonacci level, which took us exactly to 621. We have our fourth followed by our fifth wave rally. Here's an educational um, post real quick. Uh, to all the new people because when it comes to Elliott wave theory the market moves in five moves up cool so it doesn't matter what kind of trend we're doing the market will move in a five move up now your first wave your third wave and your fifth wave we use fib extensions or Fibonacci levels to give us where that third wave is going to be According to Elliott Wave Theory, third wave should be at the 1.618 Fibonacci level before we start heading down. However, and this is from the textbook, if we break above the 186 and it holds above as a strong support, that's our indication that we're headed for an extension. I'm not going to get into these extensions, uh, Fib levels, and so on. Uh, moral of the story. Uh, the thing that I want you all to understand as of now and then we'll get later into more videos where I go way more advanced however as of now the market moves up in five waves similar to what we see right over here we have our one we have our two we have our third fourth and we have our fifth right after triggering our fifth wave what tends to happen is a three move down which we call an ABC correction. Cool, so we would have our ABC correction, and then we would go for another one, two, three, four, and five. Now, something to note within these waves, we have our local waves. So, within third wave, for example, we would have our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth same story follows after triggering this third wave top we tend to get an a b c correction so we'd have a b and c and then a further continuation after triggering our fifth wave top this is where the market is signaling that we're about to go for a much more bigger wave so we would do our a b c correction and then as we discussed we would get head up further so I hope you all got something out of this uh, you know it's not I'm not gonna go too complex we're not gonna get into subwaves and uh, all that fun stuff we're just gonna keep it straightforward uh, that way we're able to use this data and apply it to our most recent fractal now as we mentioned the market moves in five waves that's exactly what we have with our first structure we're then followed by a big boy a b c correction so we would have our a b and a further c 
and then we're adding for a further continuation within a wave this tends to be a five wave structure so we have our one two three four and five and then we have if you look way more in depth uh, we actually have a further one two and our most impulsive wave third wave fourth and fifth giving us the top for b wave and bingo we have our c wave bottom so now that we have all this completed uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on in the long term uh, long term we're gonna go ahead and include our ABC correction uh, we know that this market is headed for a correction so all this right here would be considered our A we have our B and right now we're headed for a C wave correction C wave uh, we don't know the exact top quite yet however it should be within 2500 to approximately depending on how strong buyers are 2700 give or take cool now keep in mind this wave that we get we're currently forming a first we have our second we have our third wave right now there's a possibility that we're doing a fourth wave pullback this is what we'll zoom into in just a minute and then we'll have our fifth wave rally let's confirm that that's our third wave we have triggered the 1.618 Fibonacci level signaling that this could be a possible third wave as we discussed earlier from our example there is a possibility we go for an extension and that's if we break the 186 and it holds above as a support level this would be an indication that third wave is at 1900 in the meantime price action is getting rejected at the 186 around 1626 therefore there is no reason to be calling for an extension all the way at 1900 if for any reason the algorithm decides to break above this 186 fib level then we can go ahead and uh, swing it to, to the, to the 2.618 Fibonacci level at $1900 cool so let's go ahead now and zoom in to a much shorter time frame uh, this could be the possible top as we mentioned we have the 1.618 Fibonacci level let's go ahead and take our ABC correction so I'm gonna go ahead ABC as we know whenever we trigger a top an ABC correction tends to form uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our fib extension so we have our a all the way up to our b and look at that we have the 1.618 as a support level you're gonna notice with third wave fifth wave whatever wave like majority of the waves that the 1.618 tends to act as a support level so now that we have our c wave in uh, we then have a further ABC which is most likely forming a big boy A a further B and right now we're headed for this C wave correction bottom for our big boy that will give us a fourth wave bottom before starting a, another rally to the upside wave should give us an approximate bottom fourth fourth wave after triggering fourth wave uh, hallelujah we can all celebrate because we're headed for our fifth wave rally let's go ahead and find out an approximate zone of where this fifth or where this fourth wave bottom should be along with C wave I'm gonna go ahead and take our fib extension uh, we're gonna find that 1.618 Fibonacci level which takes us exactly to 1400 1414 and 1500 so this would be my next buy zone for ethereum um, within 1500 to approximately 1400 dollar zone but i know it's a big range uh, nobody knows exactly quite yet uh, right now as i mentioned 
we're going to be using Elliott Wave Structure to give us a roadmap of what's coming next. Later, once we trigger this demand zone, we can go ahead and start applying harmonics, finding divergence that will give us a confirmation where the exact bottom is. That's exactly what I'll be doing on this channel. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. That way when the day comes, you're not missing out. I'm going to go ahead and give you all a quick recap. Uh, medium slash long term target should be with, excuse me, within 2400 to approximately 2900. I'll be giving you an exact zone when the day comes. Uh, short term, I'm looking out for 1400 to approximately 1500. From there, we'll see how this market plays out. Uh, if I have any further updates, I'm going to go ahead and update you on the channel as well as the Discord. As always, if you guys have any further questions, shoot your messages in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, gave you insight of what's happening in this market, you found it useful, hit that like button. It motivates me to upload more videos knowing that people are finding my videos helpful. So if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, hit that like button. If you didn't, if you thought this video was all bullshit, if this video didn't help you out, hit that dislike button. I actually want honest feedback and let me know in the comment section below what you want to see. So without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.